welcome to my Epoch tutorial series. For this video, I will be showing you how to install a Plot for Life by Rimblock. This mod includes the Snap Build Pro by Raymix, so you don't have to install Snap Build Pro after this. You can disable it if you want, and I will show you how to do that. If you only want Snap Build Pro, you can go to the annotation in this video that will take you to another one of my videos that shows you how to install Snap Build Pro on its own. If you already have Snap Build Pro installed, I will show you how to install this over it. Now let's get started. Go to the link in the description that will take you to this GitHub so you can download the files. Over here at the right, you can see that there's a download button. Now place it on the desktop and extract the files. Open the extracted files. And then open up your server files. I'm going to place the server files on the left and the downloaded files on the right. The first thing you need to do is open up this server file in the downloaded files. Now copy this custom folder into the root directory of your server. It should go in the area that has the at daisy epoch and at daisy epoch server. Yours should not ask you to overwrite any files. This is simply because I previously had them in here. Now go into your mission file and find which one you're using and then come back to the downloaded files and go back to the main area. What you now need to do is copy over this custom folder. Now I already had Snap Pro installed, so it says that I, need, I have three different files that are similar. These are the three files I already had installed, so I'm going to just replace them. So now you can see I have Snap Pro and a Plot for Life in here. That's everything that we need to worry about from the downloaded files, so we can close that. Open up your init sqf and go back over to the GitHub page and scroll down to the install portion. What we need to do is copy this second line of code and look for the first one. We're looking for a call compile variable.sqf. Scroll down until you find this code block here. Yours will look similar, but possibly not the exact same. We're looking for the variables.sqf part. We have one right here, variables.sqf. Highlight this line and paste over it. You can see that it now says custom at the front instead of the slash z like it used to. Next, we need to do the same thing for the public eh one. So again, copy the second line here and find the first one. We're looking for public.eh. For me, that's right here. So again, we're going to copy this one, and you can see that it has a slash c in front. We can just paste over it. So we need to come down to this next one. Copy the second line, and we're looking for a compiles.sqf. Make sure that it has the slash z in front of it. If you installed Snap Pro with me previously, you'll have a line like this. So first, let's find the slash z at the front and the compiles.sqf at the back. And paste over it. Now because this already has Snap Pro installed, we can delete the custom slash Snap Pro slash compiles.sqf. If you did not install Snap Pro, by following my video, you may have just custom slash compiles. If you do have this and not the Snap Pro one, you need to first check your files. To do that, just go back to your server files and go into your customs. If you had a normal custom compiles, it will be in here like this. Open it up, and if yours looks like this, you can delete the file and delete the custom compiles line. So if it looks like that, you can delete it and delete the file. If it looks something more like this, then you cannot delete this file. 
just delete this section, which should be at the bottom of it. Save it. And don't delete the custom compiles line here. Now here, we need to again copy the second line and look for the server monitor. The easiest way to find that is just press control F and look for underscore server monitor. There's only one in the file and you can see that it's right down here in the if is server code block and we need to delete and copy over it. You can see that the new one has the custom at the front and the old one had the slash Z. So that's how you know you copied and pasted the correct line. The final thing that needs to happen is copy this includes line, go back to your mission files in the folder that has the init.sqf you'll find a description.ext file. You need to open that and then go all the way down to the bottom. If you previously had Snap Pro installed, you do not need to do any of this. If you didn't, then you go to the bottom, return one line, and paste in what we copied. I previously had it installed, so I don't need to do that. Now you can close the description.ext and save your init. Now there are a couple of optional items that you can use if you want. None of these are required. You're done with the install. You can actually run the game and Snap Pro and the Plot for Life will already be working for you. None of this needs to be worried about. These are just extra items that allow you to have a little more control over what's going on with this mod. The first one here allows you to turn a Plot for Life off. The second one here allows you to turn off the ability for players to take ownership of someone else's plot area. This does not work for locked items like doors and safes, but it works for every other item. This last one here turns Snap Pro on and off. These last two items are for Snap Pro only. This one here allows you to change the range of the items. I already have that here. I copied it over and made the items slightly closer together. Basically the range is the distance between the two items and how close they have to be to snap together. So the lower the number, the closer the items have to be to be able to snap. The higher the number, the farther away they can be to snap. I personally suggest leaving it the same unless you've done some testing and you know what you want. I suggest you don't exceed negative 5 or positive 5. And this last one allows you to turn off the snap tutorial. I suggest you don't do this. This will turn it off permanently and it will never show. Some players may not know how to use Snap Pro or they may not even know that it's installed. So I really suggest not doing this. The tutorial will disappear after the first use on the server until the player relogs. So there's really no need for this. But if you really do not want it to show, like maybe it's only for you and a couple of friends and you already know about it, then you can move it over. But to show you how to add these, let's just say that we want to disallow players to take ownership of another plot. We copy this variable part. We go over to the call compile section that we had edited previously and paste this in directly above it. Now it's default true. We want to disable the ability to take over another plot. And to do that we change true to false. And players can no longer take ownership of any plot area. You can do the same for anything. Like if you want to turn off snap build, you can just copy that one, paste it in above the call compile area, and turn it to false. So now snap pro is disabled. That's everything that you need to know for this tutorial. And that's basically all the options you have for these systems. If you guys have any questions or problems, let me know. I will try to help you as much as I can. These are not my scripts. I did not write any of them. Snap Pro is by Remix, and the Plot for Life mod is by Grimblock. As always, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.